Yeah, that's the Japanese maple. It's pretty. All the planter boxes the are coming in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you're going to get all the dirt hauled out, too. Yeah. Okay, you want us to do that, too? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a big part. That's, that's, whew. Yeah, I had to, I'm going to source that out. That's, that's a big, that's, the dirt is what's going to, whew. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. Trust me, you're the first one to show up. All right. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, this is a scary project for a lot of people. Um, Cause just the resources that you need to get a project done like this. Uh, I mean, just the amount of time, just pulling the shrubs out and trying to trying to save them. Well, um, part of the you know the the reason I wanted to call a landscaping company is I kind of have an affection to plants, mm -hmm. so I don't want to see it. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, that's, that's, that's how, you know, that's why I didn't want to come off rude or anything, but I was like, no, we're not finna just be cutting out. I, I would have turned it away. Yeah. No, I don't want to uh, just cut them down. If they can be saved, that would yeah. be fantastic. Nece not necessarily all of them. Like these, I can hear less than anything about those. But like these, yeah. I love those. Things. Yeah. I love that these are azaleas. I love them. They they look good when they bloom. They right. only bloom one time a year. Right. But other than that, it is it's come better. Come here, come here and sweep this crap up. <laughs> right, right. You right. 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 <laughs> get tired of that. And let a good wind kid. Yeah. yeah. Well, they do. They all blow it right there to to the back where we were all standing, and they sit there for an hour and a half bagging it up. Uh, all of this stuff. Uh, Oh yeah, because you got two two decks to blow. So this this yeah. top bit and then the bottom yeah, they deck gotta, they gotta yeah, blow. Whatever falls down, yeah, they gotta This has been this all been here for the five years you've been here. No, actually, uh, this whole property was built in 1980. The arbors were um, finished out in 1982, uh -huh. and then all the planter boxes and plants were added in 2000. 2000, okay, okay. So they rolled a good solid 20 years. Right. Um, it started off this. You know, do you know anything about the old fourth ward? Old fourth ward. So this is a, this area in Midtown is called the old fourth ward, and what it used to be before it was anything was. Called the Buttermilk Bottoms. Buttermilk Bottoms was when there were very few buildings downtown Atlanta. Um, they um, pumped all their food here. So they had to critically flow the soil. That would have made years. Years. Well, yeah. then they built HUD housing on towers, um, low income housing on that. They moved most of the black culture from the internal workings of Atlanta out over to Buttermilk Bottoms. Well, <clears throat> somewhere in the 50s, this thing broke down. So the ash. Good soil. That's real, yeah. Right. Then they piled dirt over on the top of it from Stone Mountain. So from Stone Mountain over to here, Stone Mountain didn't used to be Stone Mountain. Stone yeah, Mountain used to be ground level. They piled every that the big ass rock they ran into, right? So uh -huh. they can't they couldn't uh, move it. So they piled everything over the top of Buttermilk Bottoms to raise it up. That's uh -huh. what they built downtown Atlanta with and then this. Then in the eighties <clears throat> they started building higher end housing. 
right? Well, then it turned into Section 8 and HUD homes and stuff like that. So they tried to re, they called it re something, I don't, whatever it's called. So uh, in, the, in the 90s, in the 2000s, they said, hey, let's facelift it. The white people start spreading out, which displaced the black people. So now right. the black people came in and they said, hey, wait, whoa. Yeah, we've been here for a long time. This is Old Fourth Ward. So they created an old, uh, old Fourth Ward Historical Society. Now it's just a mixed culture True. of okay. black, white, Asian, young, old. Right, right. You know, and then, of course, what do they do? They put a hospital right behind us. Because in any lower income okay. area, you got your diabetes centers, you got your blood transfusion centers, you got your hospitals. Right. So then what everybody was like, where's the next school? You know, so school went up and then businesses started popping up. So this place really thrives, but it's like most of Indiana or um, in, uh, uh, Atlanta around here. Anywhere there's a culture based community, that community is self contained inside of Atlanta. Have you noticed that? Yeah. That when you yeah. go around Atlanta, there's these little like eclectic streets. Right, right. And everybody yeah. that. Dog, when somebody goes there, they generally don't ever leave there. Mm. Did you know that? Mm. Like, you and I travel, and us, we travel all over the city because that's where our work takes us. Right. Most of these people that live here have never been out of four or five blocks of these. Wow. Ever. Wow. Because everything they need is it's right, right here. here. Yeah, right. It's interesting, man. It's an interesting culture Atlanta right. has. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> So you say Rock Smart to them. They're like, where is that? Where is yeah, that Rock, Rock, Rock Mart. What? West. Way west. <laughs> like, where, is, where is that? Yeah. All right, I've heard of that. Oh, y'all in Austell. Yeah, see? Yeah. See, so Austell, like Austell, Dallas, all that stuff. Right, hire We them, get right. out and hire right. them. We get out and we mix them. Because I mean, you got to go to hire them to find anything worth a damn. You don't want to go towards <laughs> yeah. any, uh, Atlanta because, right. you know, it's just great. Right. Yeah. So you can show us the um, bottom deck? or can Yeah, yeah. Them? Yeah, let's do this one. All right. Oh, we can go this way. Yeah. 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 Is there ever a time where this parking lot is completely empty? On the regular, but like, no. Never, never? No, this is okay. about as empty as it gets. So we had an eight inch deflection on this parking garage, which means that it started to dip down about eight inches. Okay. They came in, they jacked it up, they put this carbon fiber on, let it down, carbon fiber failed. So we had an engineer come in, they said, hey, you're on stage, we put up these support in two different places and okay. we're getting ready to do whatever whatever it takes to fix it okay um, that way. typically these guys they don't roll out this oh they don't okay this is not part of it now they will wherever there's overflow you know like when they trim those bushes along the fence here Yeah, we don't have to blow this. That's, that's fine. Mm, yeah, the reason I asked. Over floor, they'll come in. They'll yeah, come blow it. Okay. Okay. Side. Yeah, because we had a uh, one of the backpack. I mean, one of the <coughs> big blowers just walked behind. Yeah. And I was just trying to figure out if it's ever a day where 